Okay, welcome back. Um, the plan for this episode is to try and turn this uh, creeper spawner here into a mob trap. But first I obviously have to uh, sort of clear this area out. So I'm just going to do that off camera. Get rid of all this crap here. I think it's almost entirely silverfish blocks. Yep. And yeah, so once I've gone, got that all done, I'll start recording again and get to work transforming it. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Well, this is taking a lot longer than I was expecting. Ugh. But I'm getting a lot of experience out of it, so that's something. How are you guys getting out? Uh, I'm hitting them out of it, apparently. There we go. I'll raise this up, I probably won't be able to get out. Uh, yeah. Still a lot to go. Alright, I'm back. And this took a lot longer than I was expecting, but I've done it at last. I've got rid of all of the silverfish. And I got a dog as well. Hello. Probably just going to get blown up again like the last one. But never mind. Okay, creeper spawner. That's blue creeper in there. So I'm going to get to work. I'm going to build the spawning room. And then I'll show you that. All right, here's the uh, the main spawning room. Well, this is the spawning room. I don't know why I said main. Um, it's a eight by eight by five high room. Um, there will be a water stream here. It will push the creepers along here. We'll take out a bit of this floor here, and they'll drop down into another water stream get pushed to this corner here and then there'll be a another water stream going this way a little bit and then a water elevator going up we'll take them all the way up um, high enough drop them down right here eight blocks away from this and that'll be our collection point I've got to go sleep so I'll, I'll get start on that all right. Well, I've got the uh, the towers going. This is the uh, where the water elevator will be. Then they'll go along and drop down here, and this will be the kill point, collection point. So next, I need to get the uh, the signs and all the water streams in. So I'm probably going to do that on camera. I've got a bit more uh, wood here. The mouse isn't going very. Good at the moment. Uh, I don't know how much of this will cut out, but yeah, you need one there because I'm going to have a water stream going here. Half slab here. There'll be water here, going this way, and a sign at the bottom there. I should really keep this table somewhere closer because you need a lot of signs and a lot of water. I think. There will be good. Oh. So you put your water there. That's not right. I need one here as well. There you go. Water there. This is the start of the uh, water elevator. So the water will be here, push along here. This sign here will stop it here. But then it will link up to this one and they'll start going up. But then you need to do a water elevator like this. Where it goes sign, water, sign, water, all the way up to the top. So yeah, I'll cut that there and I'll, I'll do that. Alright, I got the, uh, the water elevator done here. 
comes all the way up. This is where they're going to drop down. Oh. What is that down there? I think I got a mob spawn on there. Um, so yeah, I need to put water here, which will push them along to here. And I just need one sign there to stop the water flow at this point. So they'll drop down. And I need to put the roof on here. Um, get some blocks. Okay, roof's in. Water goes there. And you don't want to fall down there because you will uh, take a lot of damage. This is down the water elevator. And put this last bit of water in here. You see it sort of links up there and they go up. And get rid of this now. Um, something I forgot to talk about before was the size of this room. It's an 8x8 eight eight room, but obviously if it's 8x8 eight eight, the creeper spawner isn't in the middle. But if you press F3 and you see... How can I look at it? It's right here. You see F. And depending on what uh, direction you're facing it changes, so you have direction 0, 1, 2 and 3. So direction 0 and 3, which are these two, they need to be three, a 3 block gap between the wall and the spawner. 3 blocks. Whereas direction 1 and 2, 1 and 2, they need to be a 4 block gap between the spawner and the wall. And that's uh, this wall here, not this one. That way when you put the water down this is 8 blocks and it will come just to the edge of the slip and then there will be another water stream down there pushing them over there so let's do that um, I'll fill this in now one in the corner one there pick it up from the middle I missed. Or maybe not. So get your last bit of water here. And put it down there. And we're done. I've already got a creeper on there, which he actually spawned on there, so that's, that's a bit annoying. So yes, just seal this up, take out those torches. I'm going to do it from the outside just to be safe. And we should start getting spawns. Um, maybe that's what it be. There you go, it's one. And instantly I heard a creeper spawn there. It's two. I could put glowstone lamps in the uh, the walls here if I get some redstone and glowstone. And that will be a, an on off switch. But I don't need it right now. That should be completely dark in there now. Yep. Let's get rid of this guy because he's completely in the way. There we go. Ah. Oh. I did it wrong. It's the wrong height. It's probably one block too high, so I'll have to fix that. Yeah. Damn it. Alright, well, this seems to be working pretty well now. I just raised the uh, collection point up one block. Some of them are dying from this fall. But I think it's because the water stream up there is pushing them off the edge. And when they're in the water, they're sort of jumping up and down. And if they jump just as they go off the edge, they uh, take an extra half a heart of damage. I think I can fix that. 
by just uh, putting another sign up there. But we'll see. Yeah, it's working pretty well. There's about 50 here. They're all one hitable. Well, now I seem to be uh, having to two hit them. Well, some of them anyway. Maybe they're not getting through the uh, the water elevator quickly enough and they're suffocating. I'm not sure. I really don't know what's happening there. Maybe I've messed something up in there. But it's working well enough. I've got almost a stack and a half of gunpowder. So I'm going to make some TNT. Yeah, look, see, one just died. And I don't know why. This should be working fine. They must be taking some damage from something. Oh well. It's good enough. That's all that really matters. Oh, I think I found it. Finally. Finally found it. Oh. It took so bloody long. This this area is huge. Oh, man. That long last. I can save, I can back up my world, I can relax a little bit. Let's get these uh, blocks in. Let's see purple, lime, yellow. Um, purple's a little bit higher up. And I didn't bring a crafting table with me because I'm an idiot. Not to make so many of these. And the iron block. Gold iron. Yes. Alright, well. It's only a short walk from my uh, my creeper spawner base. It's just over there. So I think I'll keep the creeper spawner as my main base. And just come here when I need to. Um, yeah, I'll leave that. I'll leave this spare bed here as well. Sweet, I'm going to go back up my world, and then I guess I'll go find a dungeon to go um, exploring. Alright, I'm back here at this uh, at this dungeon with the uh, the blaze in it, I think. I think that's this one anyway. Uh, I've backed up my world. And I'm going to try and get some blaze rods if I can. I need two. I need one for a stand. And one for um, fire resistance potions. Alright, let's try and take this slowly. Because there's a... Uh... Oh, you know what? I brought TNT with me. I could use that if I need to do. But the problem here is the uh, the cave spiders. They're just a, the biggest annoyance ever. Right, let's go quick. Let's try and rush it. Before too many spawn. Shit. Try and get this, this up. Cave spider spawner. Get rid of it. I do not need that. Where's the damn blaze? Ah, oh, screw you. There it is. I don't know where the other mobs are spawning right now. That's quite well rushed, I think. I can't believe there's only one spider spawner there. There's so many problems. Oh. oh dear. Another room here. Yeah. That would be where they are coming from. Let's 
now. Come on. What was that? Oh, shit. Sorry, I had a bit of a... Couldn't move for a second then. Um, I'm going to try tunneling in a little bit, get from a different angle. Maybe I can get rid of some of the spawns. Alright. I wonder if you can just mine for diamonds, because this iron can't have all been placed here like this, could it? It must have been generated. So I'm wondering if maybe you could just dig down and do some branch mining to get some diamonds. Blaze rods, I want that. Oh, you got me. Okay, let's go a bit further in. I've got my blaze rods. Might as well finish this though. I can't remember if this dungeon was the one with the big cave. That's gold. Oh. Might as well get it. You know? I need a new pick anyway. Might as well. Oh. There we go. I'm just going around it for now. Flip the top. You don't get any spiders coming through there. Let's get that iron pick. Uh, do that? There we go. Iron pickaxe. These are. I just realised how loud these blades must be. Should really turn them down. I might have completely ruined a load of footage just then. Just check the timer. I think I'm climbing to the end of the episode now. But I'm going to see if I can get a little bit further first. Doesn't matter if I go a couple of minutes over. Not 
pretty safe in there, is it? Ah, that looks like wall. There's brick. Can I get my next wall before the end of the episode? Maybe I should just say, tune in next time to see what colour wall it is. <laughs>